Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Icarus for day five. Or it will be. Sh Oops, nope. It will be in a moment when I um, save. We're currently at 23:07 in the evening, so I want to uh, set my spawn point. That might help, and then sleep. So uh, that was saying about trees and things respawning. Um, somebody did respond to me, sorry, apologies, I can't remember your name, um, and told me that it's a setting you've got to change, so bear with me and I'll show you what setting it is. So in the gameplay, um, it's these two settings here, I believe. you just got to turn them off if you don't want stones and foliage to respawn. Um, I've turned them off because... Uh, as that person said, what you don't want is a lot of foliage around by your base and the tree to get hit by lightning and the, lightning, the, the fire then to spread to your base because it does happen. Fire spreads in this game. So I'm just going to uh, clear some of this junk to make sure that's not going to happen. Obviously the trees and things will uh, disappear after I cut them down. I'm not going to cut them down just yet, but they will slowly come down. Um, in our last episode I marked a couple of um, deep mining veins. One of them over there somewhere, I think it is. Oh no. Over there. Yeah, over there. Over that way. I think that's it there actually. Is that it there? Might be, don't know. And another one down here. So as I come across these deep mining veins now, I'm going to just start marking them. What I need to do is start trying to find a cave so I can start mining. So I'm going to go and start looking around these walls here to see if I can find a cave so we can start looking at mining. And which way are those caves? It's over the water over here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, today we're going to try and find... Um, a mine or a cave with um, ores in that we can mine because I will need iron soon to start being able to make iron tools. Uh, just make sure I take some breaths of water, sorry, breaths of air, drink the water. Oh, eat that quickly and eat some food. Right, tell you what, while we're here. Let's make sure everything is repaired and ready to go. There we are. Okay. What have I got in my inventory? Anything? Oh, yeah. You know what? <laughs> I've just been picking crap up, crap up, so let's uh, dump some of this too. I will have to have a, a big sort out at some point on my. Why are you not working? Oh, do it manually. Da, da, da. Don't need you. I'll keep the oxide on me. I don't need the stone. I've got arrows. I could probably do with some more bone arrows actually. That'll do. Okay, right, let's go. Because in the cave there will be, um, oh, there likely to be bees. So I murdered something, I think. And, um, talking bees, yeah, yes. Um, no, bees and uh, worms. Although there is a deer there. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can um, find somewhere to mine. Again, if you don't want to spend time looking for mines, you can go on the internet. Uh, if you do a search, you will find as a at least one site I know of. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Sorry, that will list where all the mines and the caves and things are. And what you typically find in them. 
The only thing I need to be careful of is not stumbling across a bear. Which is a distinct possibility in this game. Nothing there. Nothing here. There tend to be quite vertical walls where the caves are. And some are open and some you have to actually dig your way in. So at the minute I'm just sort of looking back and forwards. What's down here? Let do down here. Whoa, careful to break leg. There's nothing down here. That's salt, by the way. Silica. Mm. Oh, at least I've got some light up here. That's to help. No, nothing that looks like a cave there. Where are we on the map? Let's zoom in a little bit. So let's just go around this top bit here. Anything here? No, can't see anything. So it doesn't look like there's a mine on this outcrop of rock anywhere, unless I've run past it, which is also a possibility. Oh, let's just have a look around here, I may have missed this bit. Stamina come back as well. And if you're unsure as to whether something's a mine or not, um, if you're unsure if something's a mine or not, just have your pickaxe in your hand and walk up the wall. If it is, you will get the pickaxe symbol, which tells you, you can start digging into that wall. And there's nothing here. This is all just normal um, rock face. Okay. <laughs> Somebody, when I mentioned about what to call these terror horses, Somebody said they're a cross between a boar and a horse, so we should start calling them bosses, which I thought was quite good. It did make me chuckle when I saw it. So yeah, they're bosses from now on. They're not horses. Okay, so we've been around here, we've been around this bit. Let's go up. Yeah, let's go by where our old lander is, see if there's anything up there. Well, think about it, I'm just going to get some oxide. Or some more oxide. Just to make sure I don't run out. I'll run out of air, just saying. Is there nothing there? No, nothing there. Okay, just didn't look at the map, so it is up this way. I don't think there's anything here. Nothing there. Um, yeah, this is a rock base. Let's have a look around here. Sometimes uh, uh, the entrances are up a little bit like this, but you kind of get used to seeing what they look like. They look a little bit like a door shape. I know it sounds strange saying that, but as I do, we, when we find one, I'll show you what I mean. You can usually tell once you get your eye on what they are. F key, not E key. No, there's nothing here.
Okay, so there's nothing on these. No, nothing here. Need some funny sounds. Um, take that. There's nothing around here, so I will head over towards the main cliff, which is this way, and I'll start working my way back down this way. See if we can find anything. All the time, just got to keep an eye out for any carnivores, whether they be bosses, bears, wolves. I think there's leopards in here as well. And down by the water, in some of the locations, there's crocodiles. That's just a rabbit, that's okay. Yeah, there's nothing looking cavish here. Some of the caves are also underwater. Ah, this looks uh, promising. Now, see what I mean about looking like a door. So, I don't know how clear this is coming across. on the video but if you sort of look here you've got a kind of big door frame shape and I bet you pound a penny that I can dig into this yeah there we go okay let's just dig through this I'm going to recover. And we've got up a level. That's good. There we go. I will get up this way. So I will get through this eventually. And there we are. What's the it? So let me just um Game one I remember, just gonna craft another torch just to make sure I've got one handy. What was that? Oh yeah, honey can bore. Um worth taking your time to open up the entrance like this because uh, if you've got to get out here in a hurry because there's worms firing poison at you which they do and it's cumulative so if you get hit twice it does twice the damage per second because it's uh, damage over time so yeah you need to be able to, to get away from them quick because believe me it doesn't take many of them only three three or four hits and uh, your health is down very quickly right Come on, dig. Okay, so... Map, where are we on the map? M12. In line with the end of that sandy bit there. So I'll try and remember. Okay. So that is an iron ore, that's an iron ore, and you see this little red, this is what I mean. Damn, he got me. So that is now poison over time I'm taking. It's only 16 seconds, but when you've got two or three of those going off at once, it quickly, oh shit, look at this storm coming. Oh, oh dilemma. Okay, so let me just get to mine. Oh, nuts, where's that one? Okay. 
can't actually see that worm to shoot him. Oh, he's over there, he's not going to get me. So... If you stay in here too long, you also suffer from um, pneumonia. Let's just get that and get our arrow back. And that one. That there is gold, by the way, and that's coal. Right. I need to go back to my base in a second. Typical storm to come in while I'm here. everything. Right, let's uh, <laughs> see what I mean about trees catching light and setting light to the bushes. So that will spread that fire now. There's the bushes around it and you actually have some quite big areas burnt out. Right, I need to uh, head home for a tick or you know if there's that much more storm set back in here. Killing. I see you. Got him. And uh, Every time you come back in here, there's a good chance these are going to respawn. Unless you get a device later in the game to stop them respawning. Alright, that's one of my foods just uh, run out. No, let's just run out. Got that, got that. Let's consume that. Right. <sighs> oh, it's gone out, the flames are gone out. Right, let's go back to our base. It's quite a way. That's going to make sure that, um. That crap, there's wolves there. Two of them. Oh, nuts, three of them. Don't often get three wolves together. Or was that two and I just shot the same one twice? Oh no. There's a second one. the third one. He's over here somewhere, I'm sure. No, can't see him. Oh, I don't want to pick that calls up. No, I don't know where he is, so I'm just going to head back to my base and safety for the moment. Take a drink, I know that. A little water. Aha, what's this one? Is this copper or iron or... That's copper, so we've got another copper vein.
How much stone do we have? 87, so we can create a cairn. Let's just destroy that. I don't want that. Um. I know it's like an overkill sticking um, pillars and the can beside it, but the pillars are easier, easier to see from further away. And the can just say in case the pillars or the posts do take damage. Right. I could do with an iron deep vein. God, there's plenty of wolves around. Where is he? If in doubt, your yeah, knife is always quite good. What a damage am I taking from the water? Tainted water, um, fifteen percent tentacles and dysentery. Oh, huh. okay. I thought that was out my water filter. Strange. Okay. Nothing to do about it. I've just got to hope I don't get dysentery. Yeah, this cave's quite a way. I should be looking along here to see if there's any more as I'm running down, but I'm not. I'm just looking um, for a threat at the moment. And there are a few caves where they're literally just open, you can run into them, you don't have to dig into them. Well, we're in relation to our base, I'm just going to go down here a little bit further. Just to check this wall out. Make sure I haven't missed anything down here. Yeah, this all looks uh, like normal cliff face. The further, and then I'll cut across towards my base. Because it'd be handy if I could find a cave a lot closer to my base than um, all the way up here. No, it's not around here, been around here. Don't think that's anything, is it? No. Let's make uh, a seat there, they're all good, yeah, they're not damaged. Let's just head back. towards our base quickly. Time of day is the early afternoon. was making himself an easy target. That's broken. Pair that. Pair that. Stamina's tanked. Right. Let's see where our base is over this way.
Right. Oh, yeah, look at the damage. Look at the damage. That's a storm damage for you. So what I was worried about. So now I've got to quickly go around and repair all the walls and the ceiling. It doesn't take too long to do, thankfully. Soon I can get uh, masonry bench done the better because uh, stone doesn't take damage from storms or fire. There's a boss out there, I do like that boss, I think that's a good one. Uh, Tyrannus, so... Yo! Having a laugh! Take everything I can at the minute. Oh, my inventory is full. That's iron, that's coal. You're useful, you can go in there. The iron can go in there. Let's look in the ox. Actually, no, I need to keep some oxide on me because I need to refill my. Um, refill that. Where were those bones? Right, carry on. Repairing my base. I think I've done all the walls, yeah. Now just the ceiling. That's okay. That's not. That's not. I'm literally going to get this done. And another storm's going to come along and start damaging things again. Look at it. Very typical. At least you can see what the next couple of days forecast is going to be. Previously you didn't have that. So you didn't know if there was any bad storms coming. The greens just tend to be windy, the yellows are, uh, tend to be thunderstorms and lightning storms. And you've seen the result of those. Okay. It's all okay. Thankfully the fall doesn't get damaged. Right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, tech tree. What techs can we unlock? I'm now level 8, nearly level 9, woohoo! Um, antibiotic paste, you can use that to alleviate some of the symptoms of getting um, pneumonia. And the poison will leave some of the symptoms of being poisoned. Um, I won't try fishing rod. I have used one before, but we'll try it again. Um, sign doesn't do any. Well, it does do something, but it doesn't show up on the map, I don't believe. Let's go for some pants. Um, Dirt ramp, dirt corner, dirt mound. Right. I'll need a spade for them. I'll go for that because I want to get. Oh, hold on. Okay. That's all done. Um, I can hear this damage being done by the um, building. Um. It's worth just letting the blow pass, and I've only got to repair it once, otherwise, you end up repairing it and then repairing it again. But the will have brought some trees down, which is good because I need the wood.
here is a tree. I think I showed you this before. Storm bringing trees down. And yes, I know I've taken damage, but I'm not falling the base if it gets too high. I can just uh, go back inside my base. And we'll be over the worst of it in a second anyway. These trees will despawn after not too long if we don't um, harvest them. Now I'm taking damage from the storm. Right, let's just go back in. Oh, there is some damage there. I'm called key to be damaged. It's only one. Okay, I shouldn't be getting any more damage on my base now, I don't think. Once those two little clouds have gone by, should be fine. Is you all okay? Okay, you. Yeah, sorry, you're just watching me repair my base at the minute. It's got to be done, because if you don't repair it, obviously you'll get even more damage next time it comes along, and then once it's beyond economic repair, it comes to a point where you can't repair it. And you've got to replace it. Right, well that's all the sod off now. So I can uh At least get some things done. How many days is it? 15.40. Come on. Last one. Yeah, there we go. It's all done. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was chopping some trees down. I come down. Any more that come down around here? Oh yeah, there's one. Yeah, let's just get that a swell. Assuming I've got enough space in my inventory. No, not really. Let me go and dump some stuff. Just to keep it um, from going bad. First, can go in there. Um, I've got plenty of bones. Don't need all those bones. Fiber. Go in there. I will have to have a proper sort out soon. How many small ones? So that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only these six, yeah, they're 20, so they are just double the size. Okay. Right. Tree. It's still there? Yeah, it is. So I'm nearly level 9. Um, I'm not 
level 10 I got access to the crafting bench which makes it possible to make um, some more advanced items so I'm not far away from getting there I don't really do this session but maybe a Oh, spoiled meat. I don't know what I thought it was some kind of strange stone with spoiled meat. Um, fishing rod, that was the other thing I was going to do. What do I need to make a fishing rod? If I can find it. And spear. And javelin. There it is. Okay. Um, spoil me to spoil plant and destroy that for now. I don't really not too worried about it. Yeah, we'll destroy that, don't need that. Plenty of wood. Don't destroy meat. Spoiled meat, sorry. Uh, sticks, I've got plenty of sticks. And I've got way too many sticks to be fair. Right. I can't remember how to do this. No, don't want to take a bite. I haven't got any um, worms or anything. That's the thing. I haven't got any bait or lures. But if memory serves me right, you don't need them. It just takes longer to get a fish without them. Okay, let's see, it's getting a bit dark, that's a problem. Let's see a fish under the water there. No, let's just see what happens, I'll just leave it there for a few seconds. Yes. Ah, that's right, you've got to try and keep the patch every time you click the button the uh, light patch moves. You gotta try and keep the light patch that's it, I got a fish! Way a spotted snapper. Okay, well that's dinner sorted anyway. Where's a spotted snapper? No, I want to um Can be filleted at a fishing bench, so at the minute I can't do anything with them to convert it to chunks. That's a shame. So, where's my fishy bits gone? 
fish chunks over here. Uh, fish. Take that. Take that. Take that. How many fish chunks I've just eaten them? There we go. Okay, so I need uh, the filleting bench. Um, I've still got two talent points and a solar point to do. So let's see what we can do. Um, so we've done that one. Uh, buffs from dry meat are increased. That's quite a good one. Filling meals, eating refills, hunger bar more quickly. That's okay. Green thumb, plant crops grow faster. I'm too worried about that one at the moment. Long lasting effects, food buffs persist longer. So I'll take one of them. Uh, not too worried about that. Bone collector, not too about that. Swift stalker, no, done that one. Leather breakdown, uh, ability to turn leather into rope. You need to unlock that kind of twice sort of thing. Um, increase meat yield when you're skinning, I'll take that one. Then a solo, we have. Um, Health regen by 10%. Uh, generally increase melee damage. Increase base movement. Increase base stamina regen. I'm going to take increased stamina. No, oh, I should have taken that one. No. Never mind. I'll do that next time. Right. Any more trees come down around here? I'll do just want to clear some of this crop out. Let's just clear some of this crap out for now. Because it all comes in useful. And we're doing a space around here. Okay, get on there. There's no risk now of a fire spreading to my base. I've got enough gap between my base and any foliage, so I don't think so my base won't get hit by lightning and set it on light, uh, set it on fire, but it won't catch fire from the shrubs and the trees catching fire. Right, okay. Um, you know what, we're so close to going up a level. Let's just carry on grabbing some bits. We have... Um, it's 134,288 and I need 135,030. So yeah. Quick way. There we go. I'm up level 9 now. Right, I think that's it for today, guys. Um, I will pick those talent points when we get back. Um, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. If you've got any comments or tips, please um, um, leave them down below. If you'd like to support me in a more long term, I do have a Patreon page. The link is in the description. I've also got some other series on YouTube, uh, mainly Stationeers. Uh, link again is in the description to my other series on, the, on YouTube. Uh, feel free to go and investigate them. That's for now guys, thanks for watching, this is Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.